Hello, I'm Entrilithium, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as the Australian Pips Republic. Right, we are still involved in land war in Asia, one of the things that you are apparently meant to never do, but we have captured Japan. We are fighting the entire of the uh, Axis, although, admittedly, uh, we don't have much to do with Europe. Over here, this is more our jam. And despite the fact we have very few troops, we are defending a very large front line. Uh, still making our way up to Qing Digo, but particularly Beijing. We did manage to capture Nanjing at the last episode. The more victory points, the better. Right, this three over here, they're training. Once they're trained, I think what we'll do is quickly grab some of the stuff over here before maybe attempting to get them to the mainland. The issue of trying to get them to the mainland is they might well die on the way because we have no navy to support them with. Well, by no navy, I mean we have this. It's not really a, it's not really a proper navy. Right. Without further ado, let's slowly get back into it. We do have air superiority down here, but that's only because we've got 43 fights and 13 close air support. Uh, we've lost a lot of infrastructure because the infrastructure we captured has unfortunately been sabotaged. You can see that although we do have military factories to spend, most of them are uh, destroyed or damaged. Actually... No, we've got spare. They've actually been fixed. Dear God, this is crazy. Oh, wow. We certainly have captured a few. Uh, there's two damage there. Okay. Right, that'll do to be getting on with. Military access in France. Tempting. Tempting. But it will be make it a bit more difficult to decide who's getting what territory. And that should be an easy capture. Um, there we go. That front line should also be able to push. You should be able to push, grab that. Keep the momentum up. And we should be A OK. -okay. Shanghai's worth 10. Let's go grab that then. Keep the momentum moving forwards. Nanchang is worth three. It's all about the victory points, right? This is pretty much a foregone conclusion that we're going to win. But we need to capture the victory points before the end. Okay. What do we want to grab next? An extra research slot would be lovely. But I will want to get motorized if I can. Not that we have the industry to really pull it off, but uh, it'll be a nice touch. How are we doing over here? Are you trained yet? You are, in fact, trained. Right. Let's get up on the front line, then. Just please don't die on the way. The three military factories at this stage are damaged ones. You can see there are damaged ones there. Also, I suspect what I've done is, yeah, I've knocked these onto damage. Let's put these at the top so they're never taking up the damaged facilities. And then I think I'll take one away from the artillery and we'll take one of the tanks away. Just because we want to make sure the guns are still producing. And at some point soon we'll be going up in manpower again. Oh, no you don't. No escape. Shanghai should quite easily be ours now. Move up there. How are we doing over there? You're supporting. You're supporting. Right, and I think what we need to do now is we need to give this a new front line. It's still telling me that we've got no chance. The enemy force is so much stronger than us, but I don't care. Offensive line. Something like that. There we go. You move in there. Yeah, you stop pushing. That's a bigger force than you. Don't attack that. And you, honestly, 
come join the front line. We've got how many divisions up here? Three on that one? How many on this? Ten. And how many defending this? Five. Yeah, that seems about right for now. Many more. Oh, can we get military access, etc. Blah, blah, blah. No, because there's a risk you'll take my stuff. And you're setting off. Please don't have any major issues. We're going to four times speed now. France pursues nuclear technology. We have not. Nuclear technology has come and we're into 1940, which is nuclear technology year, and we have not picked any up. Let's also double check. The Australian theatre. Manpower losses. We have lost 117,000 in the last year. Okay. It's pretty brutal. Italy sees closer bonds with Germany. Well, considering they're in the same faction already and they're fighting effectively the same wars. Eh. But whatever. It might be easy to land up here. I'm just saying. Oh, they've. They've caught up with us there. Let's send the fleet out. Try and get there in time. There we go. The fleet are now joining in. Looks like the convoy is getting away. Oh, that was lucky. Come on, destroy it. Yeah, come on. You got this. Oh, run, run, run. Run. Run back to port. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. Do we lose anything? They lost a submarine and a plane. Whew. Yeah, let's not run all the way to there, though. Let's run to here. Okay. We got a little bit lucky there. I took a risk. We almost got our neck chopped off, but it did work. Don't know if I'd take that risk again, though. Right, what's this? Is this the strength? That's the organization. That's the strength. So that's the damage. That destroyer took a chunk of damage. The heavy cruiser took a bit of damage as well. But we sort of pulled it off. Ish. Okay. Uh, we'll actually give you, like, a army general. And then, I guess, we'll be like, destroy everything! Okay, how's it going up here? Okay, front line's extended a little bit further. I'm going to assign you two to over here. That's all going well. Right, let's try and cut these units off. And we're going to try and prevent you from marching forwards. Because the risk you're headed for Shanghai. And I don't want that to happen. Right, encirclement is the uh, name of the game today. Why have we got nine over here? That's not meant to be the case. We meant to have a lot more than nine. It was like 13 originally because it's three and ten. Hmm, looks like it's got redeployed. Yeah, move up here. Grab all of that. We'll make sure we've got enough up here. Come on, I don't think you're going to get there in time. No, you're not. Nonetheless, we'll continue on and do our best. Right. We haven't got the bonus motorized yet, and that'll be a little way off. Hmm. It is 1941, so we should probably grab things like the, uh, Bren, 
and the mortar. A little bit behind in technology. I mean, it's understandable considering Australia, but it's a very new situation for me. I'm normally like, yeah, technology. Right now, I'm a little bit more like, ah, technology. It's a bit weird. Dear God, what the hell is going on over here? Why have we only got ten? Oh, because six replied here. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, don't attack that. You're never going to win. Oh, they did it. Crap, I didn't think they would. Hold them in place. Okay. Keep at it. Ah. Oh. Yeah, our front line's getting turned into mincemeat right now. That's fine. That's all locked down. Let's hold them in place and prevent them from moving, because that way we can trap the two units. There we go. We get these two units killed. Right. Gotta hold out. Don't know if we will, though. We're taking, like, a pretty heavy assault now. They're, they're really gunning for our front line. Pretty injured, don't think you'll be able to withstand that assault. Hmm. Make sure people are actually attacking that. Yugoslavia capitulated. Ooh. That said, uh, Germany's grabbed a little bit of the land there. Uh, the assault is almost at Warsaw and Berlin, but they have pushed back here. That is worrying. It looks like the uh, German forces are actually doing pretty well. There was a big chunk that was the Soviet Union here that's now been wiped off the map. Albania wants an aggression pact. Albania can go sod itself. Um... I really want to move these two over here, but there's a risk they'll be shot down. It's not defending the Japanese mainland, but we got to try it. If we can get to... Yeah, don't go that way. Okay, can I come back to the mainland? Don't do that. You know what? Fine, do that. I was hoping to just take them out of... Like, uh, what's it called? Nagasaki. Right. You attack. You also attack. We should have that, like, pretty easily down. How are we doing down here? Ooh, hello! We're doing pretty well. And this is actually worth 20 victory points. I didn't think we'd be able to hit this, but it looks like we are going to be getting close. Not that we've got many units down there, but we'll we'll give it a go. Manpower is going up because we're capturing more of China right now. Okay, you two go in here, you go in here, and try and what's this worth? Three victory points. We'll try and grab that because it's on the uh, river. Got to be careful that we don't overshoot there. I want you coming up here, going along there. Okay, we're going to stop that assault just because I see a unit here that might try and, like, cut us off. If we can cut them off, that'd be lovely. We're going to try for the reverse in circle. Oh, met the mechanized. The mechanized is redeploying. We might have this. Oh, 
How long is it going to take you to move here? I think it's too late. It is too late. Right, you run this way. You run this way. We aren't defending this, so there's a risk that we'll counterattack, but for now, we're in a good position. Oh, we are very close to getting that. Get you to come across here and capture some land. We are doing remarkably well suddenly. Yet they're trying to counter. So I'm going to attack you to counter that. Ah, we managed to capture them here, trying to push forwards. But I think it's too late. I think we got them. Done. Taken out. Beautiful. Right, let us stop the assault here because that's just going to end with cavalry just getting mushed. Oh, they're attacking me. Oh, God. Okay. They have got some defenses there. Ooh, they pulled a unit out! When you get them, I might be able to take them out. They are transporting a lot of units up here now. Just make sure we catch a few over here. You're still fighting strong. Our attack did get repelled here. Another level of decryption. They've got the air advantage. Oh. Sorry, they don't have the air advantage. We have the advantage. They've got enemy air superiority negative to them. Just. We're almost out of the air that we control. Next research. Ooh. What do we want to do for next research? It's tempting to go for atomics. It's going to take a very long time. Nuclear bombs are amazing. I'm going to do it. Even though it's going to mean that I'm behind in all the other technology. Probably a bad move, but I believe the term is eh. Right, how are we doing so far? Pretty well, all things considered. They're consistently falling back all across the front line. And... There we go. Now, down here, we have almost defeated them. Yes! And we'll just march straight forwards into... Uh, Chongqing. I can't believe I'm managing it with this ridiculously low number of troops. Nope. That is why I need to be on the ball with this uh, micromanaging stuff. They will push through our lines if we're not careful. And you can't fall back anywhere. Oh, we've kicked their navy out. We have motorized as well. Uh, research runner for armor. Land doctrine. Recruit our population factor 10%. <gasps> yes. We will recruit women, definitely. Okay, next thing we need to research those uh, motorized. Quite easily. Ten, ten victory points. Mm, not bad. We're going to have to adjust our front lines, I think. This has become a little bit too far down here. Move that up there, and then you can cover this bit.
Reorganized Nationalist China has capitulated. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That gives us so much control. Although it does mean that we've got a lot of Japanese units now. Um, trapped. Okay. This is going to mean... This is going to mean a good amount of uh, micromanaging and fiddling. You two to here immediately. In fact, let's set up some front lines. In fact, let's just nuke that. All right, front line. Front line. Front line. Front line. I won't be able to stop all of them. My hope is to be able to stop some of them. Front line. Ooh, how far did that front line go? Oh, we've lost our entire front line there. Oh, okay. Well, this can be our new front line. And then this can be our other front line. You know, the one that I don't care about so much. Okay. So you guys, on that one. That is a lot of units on there. You, on here, apart from, like, you two who can go to here. And you. That's three, three, three. Up there. Up there. Definitely defending that if you can. They're going to have to fall back or they will lose attrition. We've done pretty well so far, capturing a good chunk of mainland Asia with such few units. And look at our manpower. Our manpower is amazing. If you give it a lick, it tastes... Well, it tastes like 200,000 people almost. Uh, we're doing pretty well. That's gone very well for us. I am actually very pleased with our progress so far. Uh, industry would certainly help, but with that, we've actually captured a number of tanks, too, so that should, uh, do us quite nicely. Uh, we'll make sure we add a few up here, etc. as well. Certainly, uh, artillery is going to be very important to us. We'll put you up as well so that it doesn't run out. But, we'll end the episode here. Real International National China having capitulated is very, very tasty. Um, we just got to take out the Free State, Menkuko, Manchunkno, and then I guess this area is ours. I mean, it's just going to be a case of clearing up, but uh, clearing up the islands is probably something we won't bother with because islands are defended by the Japanese Navy, and I do not want to touch the Japanese Navy with a barge pole. What we'll probably do is we'll prepare for something else. Now, I do realize that we are going to lose our puppet claim on New Zealand if we're not careful. Uh, right now, I'm actually pleased that's going so well. I do not want to start a war with the Allies. I cannot really take a war with the Allies right now. It would be tempting, but I don't have the industry. Straight up, that is just a problem that I have to deal with. I do not have the industry. What I might do is I might convert our cavalry over to MP units and start spamming them. We don't have the, inf the infantry equipment for that. I would like to, but that's just not, you know, it's not possible. We don't have the infantry equipment that's going to be something we're going to have to just build up over time. But if we can, we've got the manpower now to spam MPs. And once we can spam MPs, that will mean that we get the factories because they're not getting damaged anymore. And once we have the factories, that means we can then build more troops because we need the infantry equipment. The problem is we need the infantry equipment in the first place. It'll take a little while to build up. But hopefully we'll get there. For now, though, I've been at Trilisium. Um Australia, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well indeed. So, if you'd like, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Also consider commenting down below, letting me know what you think about our current state of affairs. I feel it's going pretty well. Pretty well indeed, although it would be very nice if someone could wipe the Japanese Navy out. That'd be grand. Until next time, though, stay shiny.